Hey everybody, Uncle Creepy here for Dread Central, and today we're taking a look at Sideshow Collectibles premium format figure, the Queen of the Dead from the Court of the Dead series. This baby, 21 inches, 21 and a half inches of pure awesome. It weighs about mm, 15 pounds, and it's just packing all sorts of goodness. It was designed by Tom Gillen. He did the design and paint. Ian McDonald did the design. Walter O'Neill also helped the design. Mark Newman handled the sculpt. Kate Cat, excuse me, Sampine did the paint. Tim Hansen did the costume fabrication. And, you know, everyone else on the Sideshow Collectibles design and development team worked hard to bring this figure to life for you. It is available now for pre-order. They are taking pre-orders over at Sideshow Collectibles. And if you've been collecting the deadline, the court of the deadline, I should say, then this is just nothing short of another must-own. It's a little bit sexier than the other ones in the line, given that, you know, our figure here isn't rotting by any stretch of the imagination. But, like I said, it is available for pre-order. Sideshow was kind enough to send us this one to show you guys. A little summary about the character. Apparently, the Queen of the Dead, she is the firstborn creation of death, his Eve, if you will. The embodiment of his dark creative spirit with limitless guile and soaring ambition. From high atop her spire tower, Gazmoni, Queen of the Dead, ever oversees the realm of the underworld before her. As Death's appointed regent, she rules the court of the dead, a contentious assembly of beings of the netherworld that are driven by Death's quest to rise, conquer, and rule. This baby costs about $379. Of course, Sideshow lets you break that up into payments, which is always nice. And now let's take a good look at what she just, what she comes from, comes with, I should say. You can see that the figure comes with a couple of dead things. You definitely have to have something dead, even though she is very, very sexy. And the other thing that she comes with is that little guy right there. And he's holding a knife and he's definitely looking for some payback. Maybe the person that killed him over there, you get a nice shot of her uh, assets, and they're always fun to look at. With great tattoo design. Her crown is especially of the necrophilic realm. It's just, it looks like it's made of flayed flesh hanging off of a spine, and, and that's just incredible, too. Also of note, she comes with this fabric, which is, which she's holding in her hand. The good thing about this is the fabric the main ends of it are totally bendable, so you could really put it in any direction you want and she'll have no problem holding it. Her face, I mean, you almost expect her to start talking, man. This is just something really cool. There's not a lot of little pieces. The little zombie creatures, they required some assembly. You can see the head comes off of this one and you put it back in place. Uh, the one in the front is one solid piece. He's absolutely hideous and she is one solid piece if I had to say anything about things you should be careful is maybe the things hanging off of her crown they look really really delicate but I'm not about to start like twitching you know uh, pointing at them or anything like that or tugging on them because I like them just where they are and I think you will too this is such a such a sexy piece in more ways than one it really really is and again, Sideshow is taking pre-orders on her right now. The retail is $379.99, which you're able to break up into payments. And you know what? I, I see no reason if you have the scratch not to get this one. This is just really, really, really cool, especially if you're a fan of the female form and who isn't. And if you're a fan of... Uh, all things dark and spooky. Once again, Queen of the Dead premium format figure from Sideshow Collectibles.